What's wrong with this place? What happened? I got stuck in the elevator between floors. Couldn't have been that long. You gotta take a damn thing out of service. This is unbelievable. I'm sure if there's a problem, they'll look into it. If? You don't believe me? Uh, I believe there's a problem. Look, I, I think you should have a doctor look at you. No, I don't need a doctor to look at me. I'm fine. You're well, dripping wet. It was hot in there. I'm, I'm getting over a cold. I, I'm fine. I'm fine. I, I'm fine. I just need to sit down for a minute. Wait, why are you being so stubborn? Why don't you just let somebody look at you, okay? No. I bet you Rick or Ed is on duty. I'll no. go ask a nurse. No. Just, just sit with me for a minute, okay? Just, just sit with me. What, what exactly happened in there? But I got walked in the elevator, I pressed the button, and the car stopped. Or I don't know. Not, maybe it didn't move. But yeah. I don't know. I don't remember. I, just, I got hot in my, my chest. It's like you couldn't breathe? It started getting tight, yeah. And I, I was, my eyes got this at the walls. It, they, it was like they were moving. Have you ever had an attack of claustrophobia before? No. Was he thinking of the other Spalding? Alan has claustrophobia, not me. So this wasn't a fear of enclosed spaces? No, I'm, I'm, like what? I'm, I'm in elevators every single so day of my this? life. Was this just a panic attack? I don't know. No, it was not a panic attack. <laughs> panic attacks? I, were, were I don't know what it was. Were you thinking just, of anything in particular when you stepped in there? No. I was... I was thinking about Rick and Mel. They're having a baby. What? Yeah, they just found out they're having a baby. That's really great. I know it is, and I couldn't be happier for them. Uh, uh, I, uh, Are you thinking of anything else? No. I mean, I, I, maybe I was thinking about kids. I was thinking about having kids, and obviously what a responsibility that is. And Make you worry about what might happen to your own kids? I don't have to worry about what might happen to them. What, what has happened to them. About Lizzie getting leukemia and Zach getting hit by the car. <laughs> so I think this world is just one big death trap. No, Philip, no. Both of them, both of them came this close to dying. And, and uh, what did I do? I thought I did nothing, nothing. I did nothing. I paced the halls. I was completely useless. I'm their father. It's my I job. I know, it's your job to, to, to take care of everything. Right. right. And then you have another child on the way. And it... <sighs> I can't. No, don't. I can't. Okay. I can't fail them All anymore. Right. Do you understand me? Yeah. I can't. Yeah. Not again. I can't. I can't fail any of them anymore. Okay. And I won't. I'm sorry. Okay. Sorry. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Come with me. Where? We're just, I don't know. We're going to get out of here. No, we're going to take the stairs. Come on. Feeling better? Uh, yeah, good. Yeah. Something like being by the water, it always calms me down. <laughs> Talk about a cruel irony. What do you mean? Alan and I aren't even related by blood, and I end up with the same condition that he has anyway. Claustrophobia? I guess I may as well admit it. It's not that surprising, really. Well, maybe not to you. I'm ending up with all kinds of surprises lately. None of them any good. It's about control, Philip. What? Think about it. You and Alan may not share the same genes, but you're identical in how tightly wound you are. We're both very clear about what we want. I'll, I'll grant you that. Yeah, but when you leave no room for deviation from your plan or timetable, you sort of become rigid, and it's a setup for a fall. Or an elevator ride from hell. I'm surprised it took this long for something to pop. Because you take on too much, okay? You're overextended. It's no wonder you couldn't breathe. Yeah. 
Well, I have responsibilities, yeah, Olivia. Yeah, you know, protecting uh, everybody and fixing the world are not among them. You gotta relax. Oh, I know. <laughs> I need to let go. <laughs> just let go. You're hearing a lot of that lately? Oh, yeah. Not just from you, from everybody. From Rick, from Gus, from everybody. Of course, none of you have my life, do you? You made your life. You can change it. No, I can't. You can. If you want to control something, why don't you control it? I can't. Why not? I can't. Because when I start to relax, that's when everything starts to go wrong. I thought Lizzie was fine. I thought she was just fine. And she nearly killed you and this child. So you're going to have to excuse me if I try to make sure that nothing even remotely like that ever happens again. That wasn't this, your This is the life fault. I made? If this is the life that I made, I'm in serious trouble. I, got a, I have a daughter that scares the hell out of people. I got a father that I can't make peace with. I got a baby on the way with a woman who basically can't stand to have me around. That's not true? Just take it easy. I, <laughs> take it easy. Yes, thank you. The companion cliche to let go. Take it easy, Philip. That's what I need to do. I need to take it easy. I just want you to slow down. <sighs> I don't need to take it easy. I don't need to slow down. I just need fix it. I need to make it stop. Every, every, every step that you and I take apart from each other, this child keeps slipping away from me. And I can't sit back and watch that happen. I can't do that. It won't. Yes, yes, it will. It will. Trust me, it will happen if I don't do something about it. But there is something that I can do about it, so it's okay. There's something that we can do about it. Okay, what? We can get married. Marry me. You let go and marry me. You know, you're proposing marriage the way someone piles sandbags on a levee during a flood, like you're trying to avert disaster. That doesn't mean that it's a bad idea. Look, I just think this is fear talking and not love, okay? I have very strong feelings for you. You don't want to let your little girl down. You think you're going to make the same mistakes with her that you, you, you think you did with Lizzie. That's the only reason you want to marry me. You want to keep an eye on her so that she doesn't become another one of your failures. I think we could be very happy together. I think that this... Hang, hang, can, I, can, I, can, I, can I just say one thing before you give me an answer? Just one thing? Sure. Okay, thanks. You, you and I might already have been married if I had trusted you more. But I didn't. I didn't trust you. Had huge doubts about you. I admit that. And I did exactly what you say I do. I tried to control everything. Went behind your back. Got the paternity test. Didn't trust you. Shut you down. No, no wonder you walked out on me. But you know what? It's been good because during this time, I have been watching you. Oh, God, it's comforting. I have. No, and you, you have taken charge of your life and this pregnancy. You, you, you've adapted. You, you've, you made friends. <laughs> Not many. Right. Enough to throw you a baby shower. No, you've become strong. You've become independent. But you've become maternal. <laughs> it happens when you're having a child. Well, no, but that that's good. See, I, I didn't think there was any way that you could do this without me. I really didn't. I, you, I didn't. I didn't think there was any way that you could have this baby without me. But you, you, you really don't need me for this. And I've worked so hard to get where I am. And that, that is why what I'm saying to you now is totally different from all the let's get back together speeches that I've given you over the past few weeks. This is not, not about rescuing you. This is, is, I, I just want to be together. For the baby's sake. And mine. Are you, are you saying what I think you are? Yes. I need you. You need me. I do. I swear. I know how hard that is for you to say. <laughs> Tell me if you be my wife. That, I, an answer. I really just would like an answer. I'm not saying no. But I'm not saying yes either. So that's a non-answer answer. Okay, all right, that's a start. I feel better. Yeah, I do. Look, my shoulders aren't around my ears anymore. That's, that's a good. good thing. That's good. Yes, no, us. Us being together, that would be a good thing. Let's do this. What? What about uh, t tomorrow? Uh, if, if, 
you don't have plans and I don't have plans, we just, we call each other up and we, we, uh, get together. You know, make it a spur of the moment kind of thing. You got a non-answer answer? Can you handle a non-plan plan? plan?